What's going on guys? My name is Derek. Welcome to the channel Euro Superbike Life or ESBK Life for short. On the channel today, as you probably figured out by the title on the thumbnail, is we're working on the S1000RR track bike and we're going to be updating the firmware and software on our i2M Chrome Pro 2. Welcome back guys. Before we jump on over to the bike, I wanted to talk to you about the things you'll need for this. You really only need this, a USB flash drive, a laptop or desktop PC with access to the internet, a bike with a fully charged battery and a battery tender. The process for all of the i2Ms doesn't make any difference whether it's a Chrome Pro 2, Chrome Pro, Lite, what have you. The process is all the same and it doesn't make any difference which bike this is on. Having said that, basically what we're going to do is we're going to go on over to the bike. We're going to check to see which firmware and software versions are on the bike. Then we're going to go over to our desktop or laptop PC. We're going to go to the i2M uh, website. We're going to check the latest versions on the website. If they are greater than what we have on the bike, we'll download them, put them on the flash drive, come on over to the bike and update the i2M Chrome. That is really it, super simple. So without further ado, let's head on over to the bike and start the process. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to turn the bike on, obviously. If you are fortunate enough to have a bike where i2M makes control switches, uh, left and right uh, clip-on control switches, where you can navigate the menus on the screen, you can use those, unfortunately. Uh, my switch over here does not, so I'm going to use the up and down uh, navigation buttons on the side here. So first we want to do is we need to go into menu. So using the lower button here, we're going to quick press. And when I say quick press, I mean just to press and let it go uh, versus pressing and holding. So we want to navigate using the bottom button, we want to navigate down to options, then we're going to press and hold. And then you can see our firmware versions here. So we have our software versions. So we have Pro 2 version 6.5 and our firmware version 118-6. So now you can take this information back to your desktop and you can compare it to what's on the i2M website. Okay guys, so we are over here at my computer now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the i2M website. So it is i2m.it forward slash en for English, or if you're fluent in Italian, you can click the language drop down here and select Italian. You'll want to click on download. And then you'll want to scroll to your product. So I have a Chrome Pro 2. So this is the area that I'm going to be in here. If you have a Chrome Plus Lite or Pro, you're going to want to be in here. Now, word of note, the firmware and the software updates are different within here. So take note here. Here is a software update for the Lite version. Here is a firmware update for just the Pro version. And here is a firmware update for the Plus and Lite version. So even within the same sections, the downloads are different per product. So please make sure that you're downloading the firmware and the software for your specific product. I have a Chrome Pro 2. So here are my updates. Here's the software update. It is software update Pro 2 version 7. And then the firmware update here is Pro 2 version 122. So I need them both. So you simply just need to click on them and it'll download the zip file to wherever your browser, your, your machine has downloads going to. I'm gonna do the same thing for the software. Okay, so now that we have downloaded the software and the firmware updates into zip files, we need to get a portable flash drive. Now, what you need to know about the USB flash drive is that it cannot have anything on it. No second partitions, no other files, no anything. And your USB flash drive needs to be completely blank, empty, and formatted FAT32. All right. So when you're updating the firmware and the software, I2M recommends that you do firmware first followed by software. You cannot do them both at the same time. You cannot update them both at the same time. You need to do one, let that process play out, and then the other. So what we're going to do here is we're going to unzip the content. So if we open up our, um, 
our firmware update here, you'll see that there are a couple of hex files. You'll want to extract these two hex files to a flash drive. Once that is done, then you can unplug your flash drive and we can head on over to the bike. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to plug in my flash drive. You're going to see it pop up there in a second. There we go. You see my sand disk here. It's completely empty. Nothing is on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to highlight these two hex files and I'm going to drop them on my flash drive. That is it. Now, when we go to do the software version, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come back here. We're going to delete these two files on our flash drive, and then we're going to open up our software. We're going to open up this folder here, and we have these files here, and we're going to extract just these three files to our flash drive after we finish the firmware. So what we can do now is we can unplug our flash drive and head on over to the bike. All right, guys, we are now back over here at the bike. Um, now you have your USB flash drive. So what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and turn the bike on. We're going to wait for it to do its thing and then come up. And we're going to go back to the options menu. So once we have our screen, there we go. We're gonna quick press the lower button here. And then we're going to navigate down to options. Now we're going to long press the lower button till the screen comes up. Then we're going to navigate down to software slash firmware from USB key. I'm now going to plug in my USB key over here. And we're doing firmware first. So I'll navigate down, try to keep my hands out of the way here. And then I'm going to long press. And it's going to tell me attention don't press any buttons as it's going through the process and you'll just want to follow the on-screen uh, instructions some of them as you see will be in italian <laughs> despite you setting your dash to english and you can see we have transferring percentage uh, we're up to two percent and it's going to go through this process so again this is where you'll want to have your bike connected to a battery tender as we don't want to drain our battery as we're sitting here doing this. Okay, so we're about 15% done now, so I'm going to fast forward the video to the end. Okay, we're at 100%, so now it's going to go through the process of restarting itself. And that was quick, a quick restart. Um, as you can see, my firmware version is now uh, version 1.2.2. Uh, and that is it, so we'll do the same thing for the software now. Okay guys, so we are back with the USB flash again. This time I have the software files on here. So the process is the same. I'm going to start the bike, or at least turn the dash on. Don't start the bike. <laughs> Let it go through its process. And we're going to quick press the lower button. Go down to options again long press scroll down to upgrade and now we're going to plug in our usb key and then again we're going to long press the bottom button again and then we get the message attention don't press the buttons and we're going to follow the on-screen process and let it do its thing Okay, and as you can see, after the restart, our software version has updated. We have version 7.0 and firmware version 122-6. So that is really it. Like I said, guys, this is a really quick and easy process for updating the firmware and or the software on your i2M Chrome Pro 2, Lite Pro, what have you, via the USB keys. All right, guys. Well, that is a wrap for this video. You guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, or smash it if you didn't like the video. Until next time, guys. Take care.